Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 31 with me, Mr. Sealy P. into July. Uh, I skipped through a couple of months. I wanted to get to when the next crop was ready. I was going to go through until all my crops are ready, which would have made more sense for what I was going to do. But in light of a recent development, uh, I'm going to be doing something else. Cryptic as ever, um, but we're down to the cows because I think my silage clamp is done fermenting. Should be done fermenting. Uh, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pickup on the feed mixer, collect the silage and put it into here. I think, I, did I get the multi-fruit one of these so I could put anything in? I can't remember now if I haven't and I've got a real problem. I'm going to have to have a big pile of silage until I put a silo in. We've got a load of manure, we've got a load of slurry, we've got milk which I've transferred over to our little dairy. I'm, I've got a couple of deliveries to make. I said in the last episode that I'd switched over my fabric production from doing, or just doing the fabric, but using the fabric to make clothes i've got two boxes of clothes we can deliver i don't know what the price is like at the moment but we'll take it anyway i've got a load of grass and these kind the grass i'm going to do off camera i'm going to do one part of it and collect some to put into the silage clamp that's why i want to empty it because there's another building i'm going to place uh what else am i going to do a little bit of login yeah just a few odds ends and then i'm going to extend this field like i do with does i'm not going to lease that massive plow again because I only need to really extend it, probably the width of my nine meter plow all the way around. So I'm, I'm just going to use that one. It kind of makes more sense. I've got cheese here. So what I'm going to do is open the boot. What I should be able to do. Oh, so it's, it's just like loading it by hand. And all I'm doing is loading my, my, my stuff in. Cool. Take that to be sold, 
Like I said, I've got a load of strawberries up at, the, up at our um, our homestead. I'm going to do the same thing there, and I've got a couple of things of eggs I can sell as well. But what I thought we'd do is get this sorted first. And the cows are okay, they're, they're fed and watered and bedded down. I haven't switched over that dairy from cheese yet. I might just leave it on cheese, you know. I said about doing raw milk and getting paid for it on the hour, which I suppose I still could do. But... What more do? I didn't take the slurry up to the um, wood production. Um, I just left it as it was for the time being. Because I've only just got over 100,000 litres and this takes, so this takes 26, is it? I'm sure it take me four loads to clear this out. It wasn't that, I didn't put a huge amount in here, but I'm just hoping the grass cutting I can do now, because all of my fields are ready to cut again, and all of them are this time. Which should be good. I've also, like I said, the production I'm going to put in today, why does that seem like it's not, you know, it seem to be as much in here as I thought, but... Then. Now if I was at a point as well, because this I showed it this working with the size bales, if I was at a, sort of almost reaching a bale limit and I wanted to store my size loose, I could just chomp those up with that and then put it in loose. But I'm gonna leave them there for the time being. So that's what I'm doing now. We're gonna clear this out. How's everyone doing? Seems like ages since I spoke to you. Uh, I said I was at that 50th over the weekend, so that's what we were doing. Did the mod review yesterday. Um, and now we're back at it. I'm going to finish clearing this. I'm going to actually just look up and see, as far as pricing goes, where is good for cheese. Uh, I'll go and grab the strawberries as well. Uh, my plan of doing milkshake, I think it was ice cream. I must have completely misremembered all of that. I don't know how I did that or why, but... Sunnyside Cafe. Oh, we haven't been to the Waffle Hut. I mean, I've been to the Waffle Hut, obviously, to have waffles, but I haven't sold anything at the Waffle Huts. Um, best price, though, is at Sunnyside Cafe. That's in the town, isn't it? In fact, take strawberries as well. We are laughing. I oh, mind you, I can't put them both at the same time. It's not like putting them on a trailer. Um, let's just double check. Actually, what I can do, go to that, and we tag place. Boom. We should be able to see it on the horizon. There we go, over there. And if I now look at the map, it should be flashing, shouldn't it? There we go. Right over the back there. Excellent. Right, we'll get that over. I've been keeping up with the roller coaster stuff. Another reason for what I'm going to be doing uh, today in my. Uh, as a placeable is for. Well, it's for keeping all of that side of things topped up and running. I said a while back, if you've been watching this Let's Play for a while, what we needed was a placeable sawmill that could do beams and long planks and prefab walls. Up to that point, there wasn't. I think it might have been on PC, but yesterday there was an update um, to one. Ola Haldor has come to the rescue. And I think we should be able to do long planks wood beams and prefab walls so um, that's what I'm going to be looking at just how many sawmills do you need <laughs> to be fair one of them on the map I just use the planks because it's speeding one I placed south sawmill is just a sell point it doesn't produce anything um, and the north sawmill does produce stuff actually I don't know the speeds I wonder if they're the same as the north sawmill we'll have a look when we install it but um, I need to also... Oh, yeah, something as well. 
before I completely forget, let's go on to here, and we need to get a... I was going, I haven't actually, I didn't look at the modded headers, um, but looking through the base model stuff, corn headers will do corn and sunflower, which they always have done, but you normally get a helianthus header, you normally get at least one standalone sunflower header, and they normally run faster, they run at nine miles now, don't they, I think. We haven't got about a base game helianthus header, have we? They're all just corn headers, base game. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to go for the diamond... 12 I think I'm just going to lease that I'm not going to buy it for the moment it's expensive enough to lease uh, then we'll go and get the sunflower done uh, I've got a load of logs to do I've got some cut down but I'll show you where I am at the moment what I've been doing um, up where the wood sale is, that's I've been doing my logging because the stuff was up there. I was going to move it all again with the wall because I still did. I never finished doing all the forestry around the uh, the North Sawmill. Did I say North Sawmill? Wood production. But yeah, I never finished doing logging around the North Sawmill. So I've still got that's it. I just turned around, didn't I? I meant to reverse. So, oh, Sunnyside Cafe is... is that one there? Vintage clothing next door, is that one? That's thrift me, what's out there? What is that? How have I got... What is going on? I've got part of a pallet of... Wooden bowls? Okay, that's a bit random. Trust me. Is that where the vintage clothes go? We'll check that as well, because I've got I've got some to bring, which will bring us in a bit more money. Um how bizarre. Um Vintage clothes, yes, yeah, 16 grand. Where's that? They're right in front of me. Oh, okay, cool. So is there. That pallet's really weird. Why is that? So it's like cafe. Cheers. Oh, there we go, it's here. Open the boot. Seven grand for cheese, I'll take that. Let's go and get the clothes. We'll do those because I'm curious. I'll go and get the strawberries. I have I brought the harvester down. That's got the header on. Actually, what will do that? I'll take that out and then I'll get the clothes because that way I can get the harvester going. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll get it on the go. I think the best bet. That's what I do to do. It's absolutely filthy. Looks like the paintwork could do with revamping. I'm not going to. I do like that used, weather-beaten look. It's like me. <laughs> used and weather-beaten, right? Raise up. Beacons. Let's go. Where's that open? Open that. See, unfortunately, my plans, I was being cryptic before um, about what I had in mind and something I was going to do. I'm, I'm still intending to, but I'm not going to lie, I bottled it. I bottled what I was going to do because I was worried about the backlash. So I thought, you know what, I'll do it properly to a degree and then do what I was going to do 
with it. So there's kind of both options. It'll make more sense when I get round to it, but I can't do that until my other fields are ready to harvest. Um, plus I need to remember what, um, do that, and that. how much we're going to get I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm just going to sell this I might just put it in storage but I haven't decided I mean obviously I can do sunflower oil and I know there's going to be a few other productions I can use sunflower for there was one you can make fuel and you can do things like that I might just sell it I might just go fully old school plant in sunflower grew sunflower harvest sunflower sell sunflower um, but then part of me is thinking, yeah, but what if? So I might just put it into storage for the time being. I can't feed it to any of my animals, so there's no point keeping hold of it for anything like that. Another thing is, I'm just deciding, because the last couple of times I haven't mulched my fields. I forgot to mulch them after, I think I did one, didn't I? Uh, I'll get the plough down and extend as well, which I said I was going to do, because what I might still... The trouble is, I can't remember, sometimes when I do a video and I do that whole... Well, this one will be shorter. I've done it twice while, while I've been away with Mr. CP, and I've said, oh yeah, I've done a much short one, 50 minutes. So I've, okay, that's not any shorter. Um, and sometimes I edit out chunks of me just waffling on about stuff. Now I can't remember if I said or not that at the end of this field here, if I extend the rest of the field out, make it wider and a little bit longer than this end to the east, uh, no, to the west, sorry, that at the eastern side I could use part of where the field is for putting some placeables down, which is, uh, I still probably will do. I might even widen it further out and, and take up that path as well because I'm not going to drive along that I don't think if I find I'm going to access this field I'm going to access it from the ends not drive around the outside so I'll probably extend it right up that path I think you probably saw in the, in the intro clips but the, the clips after the intro I um swapped out a trailer we got um, an offer of 50 something percent off wasn't it for the trend 70 trailer so I bought the trend 70 and the 30,000 litre trailer I had I sold I also sold that first trailer I bought the small was it 18,000 litre one that was doing all my wood chips in originally that's been sold as well because that's been sitting under the shelter um, over by my sawmill and the cotton field for absolutely ages and it hasn't been used so I thought you know what we'll get rid of it It feels a peculiar shape, it doesn't really have a straight, apart from this end, it's, um, it curves in both sides, doesn't it? Right, let's get a work and go. Let's see how they get on. So, let's go to that. Yeah, because it curves in both ends. So like I say, if I'm thinking, if I extend all, I think I've mentioned this before, all that there, extend all that and extend all that, I can then lop off this end of the field and use that for a placeables area, maybe. Um, I'm keeping, I thought I could put something on here, which I still can do. I'm save, saving this area here because I'm going to put another dairy in. Once I get to the point they're ready to reproduce, I'm going to put another one in here so I can run two cow pastures, cow barns. Um, and I could, I'm going to put a place up on this bit, but I want to keep that for grass. I'm still considering whether or not to plough it out and plant grass like I did the other one. Because you can fertilise it, you can get more production out of it. That at least is my theory. I don't know. Well, it does work, but let's go back to it again. So, vintage clothes, strawberries. Uh, this is actually going to fill up fairly quickly. So I'm going to get a vehicle down here with... Where did I leave my lorry and trailer? 
that's at the line production. We'll get that over time loaded too. Clothing sold. I'm gonna pick up that bowl. That's so weird. Thirty-two grand for two. Load that up. One hundred and forty liters. How has that happened? Right, I'll do the strawberries later on when we're over that way, but next is going to be, actually probably what we can do on the way past, because I need to get some logs for it, we'll sell this, uh, at Silver and Market I guess, check on the roller coaster, once the initial construction is done, which it is now, you notice We've got the carriage built and the sign is up. So all the stuff that was down here. So there have been some changes. They're not all glaring obvious as you first move through. But the fact we've got these here now as well. That's pretty cool. We can't ride it yet. It's not complete but it is there. And the sign is up. So progress is continuing. I'm just looking down my list of stuff, I'm just thinking what's low that I might need to replenish I might need to bring some prefab wall down because that's fairly low wood beams and planks are ok at the moment, planks long could probably do with the top up I think planks long out of everything seems to be used by more places on here than anything else so, as far as I can tell, I'm probably wrong but I'm pretty sure it is another reason for what I'm going to be doing A whopping 427. Oh, I've just suddenly realised I can't do what I said I was going to do straight away. Well, because the uh, the wholesale here, I was re really hoping that prices. I mean, there are some good prices there. I mean, it's there now. It doesn't matter. It's still in place. So I've got all this to cut. But what I want to do before I place the building, I'm going to place. I want to cut the grass because I want to waste it. So I'm going to cut the grass here. And I'm going to place it here, I think between these two telegraph poles. So what I need to do is firstly go and grab my lorry. Then I need to go and get the tractor from up where I'm doing forestry. Because at the moment I've got that using, I'm using that for stump grinding. I'm going to need to mow. I've got to plough out the extra. I've actually got quite a bit to do, haven't I? I'm just thinking how I'm going to get on to... Where am I going to get all of it done? I might get it built, but I might get the I might not get the logging portion of this done. I shall try my very hardest. Right, I need to go and get that lorry now. I should have driven that up, not the the, uh, the jeep. So oh, I'll leave that there. I'll walk. Could do with the exercise.
Let's get that mowing done. I think, uh, it's obviously the point. I think I've still got my uh, rear mowers set on swapping. I hope so. Stick it between these two actually. It will still give me um, enough room because I've still cut all the grass around it, but I think we'll do it between these two. So, as long as I cut the grass around here, the rest I can do later on. So this, I'll, this will just go to the silage clamp, I'll collect it, put it in, I'll compact it later on because I'll probably end up cutting this entire field and the field over there I'm going to do hay. As I've done before, I'm just making sure I've built up enough stock that as I get more, more cattle I'm probably going to, like I say, I'm going to put another one in. It's weird that the packs that won't cut. Um, I'm going to put more in or we're going to get new births. So whichever way around you look at it, we're going to need it. Sunflower is done, 34,000 litres, just over 34, 35,000 litres. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put it into the silo, like I say, I'll, I'll probably end up just selling it, I, I don't know. I I could just put it in a little oil mill somewhere and run some oil, I suppose. But for the time being, we'll put it in there. Mowing. I've done the whole of the other field over there. Uh, the section I wanted to clear for putting in the building I'm putting in has been done. And I've moved 50,000 litres into the silage clamp. I've got to clear the rest of the field. I've brought the mowers over and put them here ready to cut this one. Like I said, this one I'm going to do hay. And then what I'm going to decide is once the grass, I think the grass is probably ready to go again actually, on um, the hillside and over where the original log cabin was. So I'll probably... I might hay that as well, because I'm just thinking, I had 120,000 litres of silage, I've just taken out the silage clamp and put into the hayloft, so at the moment I've got more silage than I've got hay, so I might actually, yeah, I might swap it around and do that. Uh, let's just pull that forward. But next step is building. I've grabbed the tractor that I've, I've been keeping an eye out on the second hand market for another tractor but nothing's popped up as yet it was just the trailer that came up the other day so I thought I'd grab that uh, so I've got the plow on that ready to go what we're going to do then between not between these two because I think it goes back too far uh, between these two and then we'll I say we'll um, landscape it in and we want probably right on the end isn't it Oh, maybe not. Where's it going to be? Uh, 
That's the one I've got already. So it's one of those two. Large sawmill, sawmill. The large sawmill is 150 grand. I think might just go for the standard. Let's go for that one. So we're going to put it here. Overlapped with another object. What object? Oh, it's got the... Uh, Oh, it does take up a bit of space, doesn't it? Wow, okay. Uh, more than I thought it was going to. Let's rotate a little bit more like that. I think it's there, 100 grand. That's bang on the nose, which means there should be no landscaping involved. We're about to find out, though, aren't we? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to blend that in a little bit. Although it does actually go on to here really well. Okay, that works. So the question is, just how many sawmills do <laughs> does one person need? <laughs> um, well, we're up to, what, four now. South sawmill just there, north sawmill, the sawmill I put in, and then this second one I put in. But the beauty behind this one being, in theory, if I've got this right, <laughs> should have checked it, really, having just spent 100,000, uh, we should be able to do. Now, it does say wood planks and wood planks, but there are different. That one's pointing up to the left, that one's pointing up to the right. Wood beams and prefab walls. If we go to this side, it does say planks long. So um, we can do our wood beam, planks long, prefab wall. I just need to bring some lumber here. We should be able to get those going. As far as productions go, 48, 24, 24, 24. The recipes, 500, 1,000, 1,000, 2,000. Is that the same as the other one? I'm not sure. 24, 24, 24, 24, no, so we got a little bit different, and the recipes are more, so it should produce faster than the other one, which is good news, wood, wood chip in there, so what I might do, I might put some tracks in, and I might put some grass in, in between, because there's a lot of open area here, I suppose it gives you scope to put other bits on here that you might need, wood storage or something like that, but I think I'll landscape that in a little bit. But, all good, all good, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. It just means I can, because I'm always waiting on or speeding up time so the North Sawmill can kind of keep up with what I need. This way, I'll have plenty of everything. I won't have to worry at all. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. Right. Next then, uh, we need to plough. Then I'll get a load of lumber, bring the lumber here, and we can get this off and running. Yeah, like I say, it did take up more of a footprint than I thought. That's why I'm probably going to put some grass in. Um, because this isn't a grass field as in a, a field you can set a worker on, um, I can just use the grass texture and that will be cuttable. So I think that's probably the route I'm going to go down. I think there's stuff that spawns around the back here as well. So we've got, yeah, we've got a few different spawn bits, haven't we? Yeah, that's what we'll do. So next time you see it might look a little bit different. I could do it on camera, I guess, but it's just... I mean, all in all, I'm just going to paint grass down. I'm going to put some... I'm going to put the ground texture down, paint some grass down, and probably put in a couple of tracks. I'm going to leave the gravel at this side, I think. But, um, yeah, that's all I'm going to do with that. So it should look a little bit like it does now. But I don't know how much I'll embellish it. We'll see. Right, let's see how much of this field we can plough out, shall we? The prep of this field then, as far as all the bits I'm going to plough out now, I'm going to need liming. I have still got lime um, down at my lime production, plus I've got lime. Every time like I said, every time it fills up, I've been bringing it down and storing it. So we should be okay. Actually, this isn't, I don't even need nine metres here, do I? Or maybe, probably just on, I don't want to go right up to the track. Uh, create field, drop that down. So I'm going to keep this track to the right. I think we can go down to here. I think I might curve it here. So about there. And then we'll go right out to the edge. So we're going to expand it out as much as we can. I could probably go further, but I think it's probably be alright. I'll do the bit in between as well. 
then what I've got to work out next is how far do I want to go up here because if I'm going to use this end section for a placeable or a couple of placeables or potentially more I'm also now thinking because I did this on Western Wales didn't I and it hit my productions limit I, I put in more production plants or I tried to put in more production plants than it would let me we'll see I might I, I could end up hitting that limit couldn't I So what we'll do, we'll check the sat nav. So I'm thinking if I go a little bit further and lop off this end, so this end I'll kind of, I'll give up, but I can extend out that side as well. I think from what, what I'm actually ploughing out will gain more than we'll lose, I think. Go to there. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to done the outside. I'm going to probably just set the worker off. Oh, I, uh, I'm just trying to think. I need to um, lime and fertilise. So I'll probably lime first, then fertilise, or fertilise, then lime. Oh, it doesn't matter. Whichever way around, I've got plenty of manure. I've got plenty of... Uh, have I still got some... I think I've still got some solid fertiliser left, but I can still I can pick up some more if I need to. Now, do I go straight out to the end, or do I do the little flick out where the field follows the fence? I'll go straight. I'll carry on at this angle for the fence line here. Yeah, we'll do that. Perfect. So, like I say, that's going to then require some work. I'll tie in the other end. So, I'm just thinking for the time being, I might just put down the grass floor, not the grass itself, as a texture at the other end, just so I don't want to put concrete down. And then once we place whatever we're going to place there, I can then decide how I want to landscape it around there. But at least that will differentiate between the field and this, I think. Oh, maybe I will get it all done. I'm just thinking, and then I need a load of lumber, so I'll just... Uh, I'll cut down a few trees, we'll get some brought down. I'll try and get a full trailer load, but it shouldn't take me too long. So this is going to cost me a little bit. What's a bit of a bump there? Did I just... that was weird. Let's a bump there. Uh, let's raise that. Spin it. So from here... Uh, if we go into landscaping, painting, and I'll go for grass. This will also help me keep a nice straight edge here, he says.
I'll leave that there for the time being, and then we'll go with that. Cool. I'll carry on. Right, so I'll see you in a little while, probably up at our forestry bit. So grass done, some put in, mowed over there. I'm just going to run through my checklist. We've decided to have the size clamp, harvested this, ploughed out the bit I wanted to, placed the sawmill. Yeah, I think I'm... My list of jobs I wanted to get done, I think we are pretty good. Plowing's done. I haven't done the liming or anything yet. Like I said, I'm going to do that off camera. And um, landscaping around the new sawmill's done. We might see that. I'll take the logs down later on. We'll have a look. But my logging has now extended out from the field. The cornfield's growing. Good to know. The field we've just harvested of uh, sunflower and extended. I'm going to put wheat in there because I'm going to need the wheat. But our corn is growing. And I'm now clearing trees up here. What I'm going to do with this plot, I don't know. I might have this as another plantation because I've cut down so many trees now and that original planting um, that only allowed me to do so many, but I've cut down so many more trees since then. So what I probably am thinking of doing, and it might be just a little montage of me doing it. I'm going to get a tree planter. I'm going to plant a load of trees up here. So I'll have the cornfield and a little sort of tree plantation above it. Um, since we've got the wood production here, it would be kind of an ongoing thing. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want this. There's a lot of bushes here as well. But I think I've got this set on eights. Well, I've always said it doesn't have to check, does it? Uh, let's put that on. What are we on? Eights we are. That way I can get two loads on. I suppose technically. I could set it to 16s. If I'm doing 8s, which I can get two lots of 8 on here, 8 metres was always kind of the, the optimal length for, for trees, and I know you can do all different lengths. Um, if you went over a certain length, you started to lose money on them, which was always a bit peculiar. I haven't really tested that there in FS22 as much as I did a 19, and 17 as well, I think I did a bit of testing on it. So I could do 16s and just fill the trailer up that way, because I was doing 12s, I was only doing 12s because the, sh the shipping containers, because they would fit in those, but I guess... I've already put some mates on here, so the first load I think I'll do, um, I'm going to do uh, eights. But I have been through and I have taken out some of the smaller trees, we've wood chipped them, got them out of the way, so I mean there are still some small-ish ones, but they're mostly fairly tall. So I'm going to chop a few of these down, and again, I won't put you through having to watch me you know, cut every single tree down and, and uh, load the trailers up and that kind of thing. Then all I do is I just come through later on, clear out the tree stumps, and we'll get some uh, get some new trees planted, I guess. That's probably the best bet. doesn't help the undergrowth is quite thick because you end up losing as you see there <laughs> just lost that in the undergrowth it's there somewhere trust me and the offcuts I have been wood chipping as well just because they're a little bit small I've lost it there here it is um, they tend to fall through the gaps on the log trailer, so it just makes more sense if I can find myself a little clearing. Off cut, so just sling down and get rid of those later on.
So, more of the same. I'll load up log trailer, we'll get it down, and we'll get the first of the new production stuff running through our new sawmill, our super mill we'll call it. Because it's the first, and it's the first isn't it? The first modded, or the first one that we can place that will allow you to do, provided you've got the platinum DLC, platinum expansion on, and you're using it I think, as far as I can tell. Um, we can do platinum DLC stuff on it, which is pretty cool. The one that I placed before allows me to do a lot of planks faster, the Zottlezot one, but this one, the Ola Haldor one, yeah, it's what I was talking about for so long, that's what we really need, and now we've got it. So, that's my music. I'll bring these up to the top and help it a little bit easier to see. I'll see you later. So we have a full load. I mean, probably are we overloaded? Probably, from a from a legal perspective, which I suppose is the only perspective really. Heading to the mega mill. I, I can't decide what's called. Super mill, mega mill. It's it's a mega mill, isn't it? Because it's new and it does everything. So yeah, it's the mega mill. I bought down the um, large wheel loader with the bucket for wood chip, but obviously I haven't got any wood chip yet, but I thought it needs a home. I might put a little barn and build it. And as you can see, the landscaping's been done around it, so we've got a gravel path, grass is in. The grass that I put in, I painted the texture down, then put the grass down. I then have mowed it and collected it so it fits in with everything else I've done already. Uh, we've got a track that runs around the back, because there's a couple of points where things spawn. I'm not quite sure what's going to spawn where, but stuff spawns here, stuff spawns here, and then round underneath here as well. I would put my money on planks and planks long under here. Maybe. Then wood beams and possibly prefab walls around here. I don't know. We'll, we'll see when it happens. So, as far as I recall, without getting the menu open again, I think this is where we drop off the lumber and the manage production points there. So let's get some lumber in. If we can get both across there. And where was it? I want to say there. No. Oh, there we go. 48,000 litres. I'll take that. And then we want to go to here. So... I'm going to put on wood beams, now I'm just thinking, the wood planks, just normal planks, point up to the left. I'm just looking at all these ones here. Let's look at our standard sawmill, just to make sure I turn on the right one. Yeah, wood planks are up to the left, so I'm thinking up to the right. So I don't want to do planks. I've got planks covered. I want to do wood beams and planks long. Prefab wall at the moment, I've got plenty of prefab wall up at the north sawmill. It's just these two that I think are the ones I need to get going. If we see anything go to one litre on the right hand side, hopefully wood beam and planks long, but we might not see anything just yet. No. There we go. Wood beam, planks long, I've turned on the right ones. So I'll get those chugging away. We'll get some wood chip as a byproduct. The mega mill is underway. I need to bring more lumber here, obviously. The um, North Sawmill fills up at about 110,000 litres. I don't know what the capacity of this will be. I recently refilled that. Did I show that? Did I put a clip in? I think I did, of me restocking the North Sawmill. So what I'm going to do is I'll do some more logging. I'll get some more in here. But this can now chug away. And this should now keep us okay for wood beams, planks long. I'm just thinking if I do decide to get the boat building up and running again. That was where I was having a problem. When I was doing the boat yard and the roller coaster, keeping both stocked from the north sawmill without purchasing any from the sawmill here, um, 
at, at times was precarious. Um, but we should be alright now. So, with that, we have come to the end of another episode. As I said, I have got all this grass to collect. That's going to go into the silage clamp. I've got the other field to cut Ted into hay and go into the hay loft. I've got that field. Is it field one? I can't remember the number. Field one. I now need two lime around the outside then get on to fertilizing. Uh, I'll probably do one fertilizing state chemical and then I'll do a double fertilizing state with my muck spreader. That will give me the three I need and it only require two passes to do it so that should work out all right. And like I said, I'm going to put wheat in this because I'm going to need wheat. I have got some in storage. I've got barley in that one. We've got our soybean, we've got our corn. Yeah, we should be all right, I think. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>